welcome to my channel Zaven Kala and this is your crafty host Priyanka. So as you have already seen we are going to make this beautiful wall decor, home decor with yarn and with uh, with yarn. So I am very excited. It's really really simple and really easy to make. Anybody even if you don't know how to do embroidery, even if you don't know if even if you have not done any of the needlepoint or any yarn um, yarn crafts this is a very simple project and you will be able to make it and you it will look absolutely gorgeous um gorgeous in your house so um today i'm not going to show you my face because i was just like in a hurry to shoot in the intro and i didn't get a chance to um it was like really late in the night and i didn't get a chance to like get dressed up <laughs> so i'm not going to show you my face i'm just going to show you uh, the material that being said let's jump into the materials and then we'll go right from there into the tutorial so first things first we need some yarn and i am using these um actually i would love to tell you uh what uh weight this these yarn are but everything that is mentioned on here is in either chinese or japanese or one of the asian languages that i don't understand but um yeah so i found i got these um in bulk like i got like 300 of these yarns um from aliexpress so i had a lot of them on hand so i used uh, these but you can definitely go ahead and use something that is rusted weight so in uh, united states you can get red heart or something like that which is really inexpensive and um you can get it very easily in all the stores so for my painting i'm using the yellow pink red and orange so i'm using four colors even though my pattern here is, is different so we need a we don't need a pencil that was a mistake sorry <laughs> we need a tapestry needle to go with your yarn tapestry needles are the ones that are thicker and they are blunt they're not sharp at all and they have big eye so that the yarn can go through if you can see on my hand yeah so they're really blunt um, you need a pair of scissors to cut the yarn uh, these mirrors are just uh, optional for decorations if you want to you can if you don't or if you don't have it handy i would totally skip the step so these are optional you need uh, any cross stitch pattern so this is uh, the cross stitch pattern that i followed for my painting um, you can definitely get uh, um, any cross stitch pattern that you find Th this was a free cross stitch pattern and i just printed it for this uh, for this tutorial purposes only i did not use this while i was actually doing the work on the canvas so uh, this cross stitch pattern is a free one and i will have the link in the description for you guys to check out you can do exactly this one or there are tons of them on on google that are free and you can download them for your purpose uh, also one more thing um, you can even uh, do like a bargello b-a-r-g-e-l-l-o patterns and they might also come up uh, as um, these uh, pixel patterns and any pattern that has a pixel uh, drawing you can work with that or a graph drawing so that's that that's my design and then you need a burlap canvas so these are uh, the smaller canvas this is 8 by 8 and then this is 10 by 10 if you can see right here this is 10 by 10 so these are the ones that i'm going to work on now but the one that i'm going to show you in the in the video is this it's uh, by conda burlap and i don't remember where i purchased this from this was um purchased like a couple of years ago so i really 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 don't know uh, where i got this from i just can't put my finger on it but uh, hobby lobby has um these burlap canvas and they are not expensive at all this one was 4.99 and you can use the 40 percent off coupon to get it even cheaper if you if you're just one if you go there by yourself then you can only use one coupon that's their rule so 
but still you can get one canvas and then you can get 40 percent on it which is great so that is that and also if you don't live in united states and if you don't have a hobby lobby near your house you can always um sorry you can always order it on amazon they have it on amazon i think sergeant brand has it on amazon so they have a lot of different sizes so that's the canvas and if you do plan to um, add the mirrors um, you will need hot glue gun and glue sticks so those are the two things which is optional if you don't um, optional with the fact that you don't apply um, mirrors diamond mirrors not diamond mirrors the mirrors uh, any shaped mirrors so if you don't apply that you don't need a glue gun if you want to apply that i applied them with glue gun so that being said all my materials are shown uh, before i move on to the tutorial please give me a thumbs up if you like this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to leave me a comment of how you like the video if you have any questions regarding this tutorial or just say hi just say hi i would love to hear from you guys so let's move on to the tutorial i love you all okay, so we'll begin with the tutorial and the first thing i wanted to show you guys was the pattern that i'm following although i have changed the colors uh, this is what the pattern i'm following um uh, for my painting for my wall decor for my painting whatever you want to call it um and um, this is a cross stitch pattern it's a free cross stitch pattern and there are tons of pa other pargello patterns uh, patterns that are available uh, for free and um, to download so you can just find it on google and see if you can find something that is uh, interesting for you guys and for this pat this particular pattern i will leave the link in the description for you guys to check this link uh, out um, and you can make uh, you can uh, definitely print this out i when making the actual painting did not print it out uh, print out this paper i only did it to show you guys um which pattern i used i really just looked at it once and then it's so easy you can just follow uh, looking at like say i started here and then i can just definitely go ahead and follow because uh, here because it's just a mirror image and that's what you're going to do mirror image here and mirror image uh, here so it's all it's all mirror image so you can uh, easily figure out what to do but if you are uh, if you're if you don't want to do that if you feel it's more confusing just go ahead and print it out and then you can just go like okay one two three four and you can check the boxes out as and as and how you make the boxes so say you're done with this you just make a tick mark tick mark tick mark and you, it'll, it'll keep you uh, it'll keep a track for you guys um where you have reached so that'll make it easier if that makes it easier definitely go ahead and print it out so the next uh, i'm going to talk about is the stitch so per box so say this is one box right here let me show you on white right here so this is white one white box and for that one white box um let's put this white box if you guys can see so say this one white box i have done let's bring it this way three stitch per box and each stitch is five um, holes long so you take out uh, you start with the first hole and then uh, you come out from the first hole and then you go into the fifth hole and then you come out next the into the hole next to the top one and then you go back down to the first one so in between there will be three um, boxes in the on the burlap and you will see it much better when i actually do it for you guys but the first one and fifth one so you come out from the first one and you go inside the fifth one and then in between there will be two three four and you will make three stitches per box so say if i'm making this line right here it is going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so we will have three twelve stitches but the height will be uh, five stitches long so five um, boxes long so each stitch is five boxes long so one uh, so it'll be 5 10 15 20 so you'll use 20 lines straight but only three lines um 
so 20 lines vertical and three lines horizontal that's what i wanted to say that you will be using 20 lines or 20 boxes horizontal no vertical and then three line three lines horizontal if you guys got what i'm trying to say if not i will definitely show you a practical one so you'll be able to understand it more so this is the pattern i have used you can use any uh, pattern any cross stitch pattern any bar jello patterns there are tons out there or any pixel pattern that you find you can uh, convert it into this and this is not the original bar jello stitch it is just inspired from it i've just made something very simple so um yeah so let's go ahead and look at how um it's done on the burlap itself i've done a lot of work already on my painting and i'm going to show you uh, this part starting here and then going up here and I'm, I'm using yellow for this navy blue line so i've already done up till here this three one two three blocks so i'm going to start with this block right here and the orange that i have used for this lighter blue i've already done that so i'm just going to start with the yellow here and then just do yellow uh, this line one two then cross over and do one then make two then cross over and one then again two and then again one so i'm going to go ahead and do that i'm not going to go i might not be able to reach all the way up here i might have to stop somewhere in the middle but we are starting at this point just so that i'm just i just let, i'm just letting you know so that you're not confused where i'm starting here and why i'm suddenly starting from the middle okay so let's get started. i have come out of here uh, and we are going to start the yellow uh, work with the yellow which is the navy blue on our um, pattern paper so here is my first uh, hole two three four and five and you have to be very careful sometimes the burlap strings are attached to each other so you have to push them apart to count properly so i went inside in the fifth hole and then i'm going to come out directly next to it right here and again i'm going to count two three four and then we're going to go in the fifth hole and once you get the hang of the pattern you won't be needing to count much you're just going to go into the fifth hole and remember it has to be if if you want to check that you did it right it has to be a straight line on both the sides so that's the first uh, three first box done right here now what we're going to do is we are going to come out from this the fifth hole where we went in we are going, from the first stitch that we made we're going to come out from there and then we're going to count again five so that's the first where we put in for the fifth that is going to be our first hole for the next stitch on top of it so that's one two three four and five so we're going to go down and then we're going to come up next to it and then we're going to count again five so this is my first hole two three four and five we're going to go okay, down so uh, i was looking at it and i thought it might be confusing so i zoomed in a little bit so here um this as you can see this stitch it's going down in this hole that's the fifth hole for the stitch and that's where i'm going to come out as my first hole for the stitch on top of it and then we are going to count two three so let me i hope you can guys can see it's two here it's underneath two three four and five so we're going to go down the fifth hole so that makes our second box so this is the second box and this is the first box now we're going to uh, go crosswise right because on the pattern let's go back to the pattern and right here we did this to this two navy blue uh, boxes so we are going to go to this navy blue box box which is on the side so to make it on the side we're going to come out on the on the hole next to the one next to the last stitch for our second box so come out there and then from there you'll count five so that's your first box that's your first hole where you come came out two three four and five so you go down the fifth one 
and then uh, as we did in the previous boxes you just come out from the next hole next to the first stitch and then count again the five two three four and you go down the fifth always when the one hole that you come out is your first um, first hole so that's uh, you again come out the next in the next hole and then you count again two three four and five and then you go down and that will make our third box again we want to do uh, a cross one because that's how we are going to uh, that's how the pattern is laid and this time we are going to make six of them because we have two boxes next to each other right here okay so one more thing if you don't want to um, look at the pattern again and again I'll show you what I was talking about like the mirror image so here oh, I'm sorry here we had these two boxes and the mirror image for them is these two yellow boxes right here and then we came cross for one box that is three stitches and that's we have that we have it right here one two three that's the box that is mirror image to this now we are going to make six stitches and that's where we are at the six stitches we are making six stitches because we have two boxes side by side of the same color so that's what why we are going to make six stitches like um, vertical no horizontal so uh, the mirror image is right here uh, it's six stitches so let's do that so we are in our first hole two three four and five and as and as and when you keep doing it you'll just get the hang of it you can just look at the pattern on the other side and be able to work with it you don't even have to uh, count you don't even have to like worry about and I have to put my hand in the middle because um, can't work with one hand in this so basically we are just going to mirror image the whole section this side so that's four stitches and I'm not counting for each and every one because um, it's the same thing I'll keep repeating again and again this is fifth stitch and this one will be the last one right here okay so that's our six stitches one two three four five six now we have to make this box right here so we'll again come out from the next stitch and then we'll count five again two three four and five and that will be the mirror image for this single box right here And never count one, two, three, four, five if you are not counting the the hole that the stitch, uh, the needle or the thread is coming out or the yarn is coming out from, because then it will make six stitches. Okay, so here is the box. Now uh, let's talk about the mirror image. So if I'm going to start with my orange yarn right here, uh, let me take out my needle. Okay. So if I'm going to uh, uh, work with my orange yarn because that's my next color in then this will be or this two are orange so now I will have an orange here and the mirror image is right here then I will have one orange and that's what I will have here and then I will have six oranges on top of the six yellows and that's what I have here and so it will skip this one the orange will skip this one yellow because it's going inside similarly you'll keep uh, you'll uh, have one red um, correspond you'll have one red here they'll skip this red you'll have one red here and then it'll go up and similarly you'll have pink and you'll go up so it'll be completely mirror image and you can see it right here this is the whole um, diamond made and it keeps mirror imaging yellow yellow orange orange red red and then pink in the center and then there's pink outside uh, red outer than that orange outer than that and then the yellow so it's just op completely a mirror image with the split down where the or pink will be the split in the middle so uh, I'm going to finish this hole 
the a little bit that's left on my painting and then come back and show you how my painting looks here it is guys finally complete and hung up on the wall and i'm definitely going to do a video where i show you how my room looks uh this is in the living room so how my living room ro looks but i'm still trying to fill up a lot of spaces in the living room before i can show you guys where and how and uh how i have placed uh, certain paintings that i have done uh, on on here on the channel so uh, what i did is i went ahead and added these uh, mirrors because why not i have been i have been adding mirrors in all of my uh videos in 2020 so i decided why not bling it up and add a little bit of mirrors instead of rhinestones so that's what i did and if you guys enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up Ooh, i'm here thumbs up and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and press that bell icon to keep in the loop of all the new videos i post um, I really appreciate you guys and I really, really, really enjoy you guys uh, watching my videos and loving me so much and appreciating my work so much. Please don't forget to leave me a comment if you have any questions and concerns or if you have any questions about the uh, canvas, just leave me a comment and I will, uh, I will definitely try and answer as best of my knowledge. And um, if I'm not... Am I forgetting anything? No, I'm not forgetting anything. But just to say that I love you all and I'm so thankful to you all. Please, please, please do subscribe. I am uh, really close to hitting that 1000 mark. Please do subscribe and help my channel grow because this is not my channel. It is our channel. I always say we are family and we have to grow as a family. And your support will help me bring more DIYs and more uh, crafty ideas on the channel and it will help me and boost up my it will encourage me to do new projects so that being said i love you all have a blessed and wonderful day bye bye